Hello my friends and welcome back to the Deep Tarot. This is a reading for Cancer for the month of April, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign. I'm going to lay the card before, after we got our Oracle card. Everything you need to know about the schedule of the channel is in the description box. Keep in mind, this is a general reading so it may not resonate with all of you and energy could be vice versa. I'm going to tell you a short story and you decide who is who in this story. So if you are new, please subscribe and hit that notification button. So each time I post something new, you will be notified. Thank you so much for your love and support. Let's see. Three cards for your health. And this is money and career. And this is your love life. If we need any clarification, we're going to clarify. I will start with your oracle card. To make your decision, ask yourself which way brings me closer to my divine purpose, which way take me away from it. Let's see. In your health, we have the seven of wands, the two of swords and the ace of swords. For your money and career, we have the Queen of Swords, the Tower, and the Fool. In your love life, we have the Two of Cups, the Emperor, and the Four of Pentacles. Based on what I'm saying here, it seemed cancer for a while now, or maybe this is a kind of a habit in you. You always based your action or reaction based on the action in front of you. You always respond. Like if you see someone is closed off, you go like them, you pull yourself away. If you see something is not working and the other person want to stop it, you go with them and stop it too. You need to not try to please people if you don't believe that what you are doing is not the right thing. You are, it seems like you are a cancer. You are so sensitive and most of the time cancers, they don't like to, like, um, they want everybody to be happy, even if that will make them not happy. Now, this is something very kind of you to do, but it's not always the right thing to do. Maybe for the short term, you are making everybody happy except you. And on to you have the right to be happy. But on the long term, if you will do the right thing, you will make everyone happy, including you. Let's see. I feel for your health. You are very defensive and you don't know. There is something putting you under a pressure and that's something I feel it's not physical. It's something mental. There is someone you need to, to open up to them or there is something you are trying to be defensive to hide what you really feel or what you really want to say, trying to close your heart and you don't know till now how to take the decision or if it's a good idea to face that person with the truth. It seems you know something about the situation or about someone and you don't want to hurt them by telling them that you know. And this is giving you a sleepless nights and you are trying to push this person away because we have to be like honest. 
you are not very good in hiding things deep inside you. You, you don't know how to lie. Like, even if you will try to keep something inside you, if this thing bothering you, people can feel that. So I feel what you are doing right now is trying to push this person away a little bit so they, they will not feel that you know. And you are now in the Two of Swords. You don't know what to do. Tell them or not tell them. Say something or keep quiet. And this is giving you that tensed energy inside you that you're always feeling these days. But I believe you will go with the right thing and you will tell what you know. Or you will show that person in front of you that you know. I feel the tension that you're feeling is based on you not wanting to face or hurt that person. I will tell you one thing, then you can, you have all the right, it's your life to take the decision that you want to take. You don't want to hurt this person by telling them that you know. So you are trying to keep it, to keep quiet. But this person did something and that something is not right for you. Or maybe they did something in a situation and they are, if we want to be direct and not pick a sweet words, they are lying. So they deserve what will happen because they are the one who is lying, not you. So this tense energy and sleepless night, they should be for them, not for you. If you feel that you will be relaxed and happy, if you will tell them what you know, tell them. Because the mistake didn't came from your side. You just know it. That's all. Let's move on to your money and career. It seems you used to do okay, fine. But I feel with this Queen of Swords here, maybe they, these two are connected. You are trying to stay calm or you are trying to hide what you know. I believe these two are connected here. You don't want to say what you know because you don't want the tower to drop. But it seems that this tower will drop with or without you. I think what you're feeling here in this money and career, that you have a feeling deep inside you that there is dishonesty in here. There is someone either not telling everything or telling a lie. And you are trying not to show that. But I think at the end of the day, you will take the decision that you want to start something new somewhere else. And I feel that you are thinking, if you can, you, you want to try something alone. You don't want to try something with a partner or like you want to be on your own, your own manager. Like, explore your luck and option by yourself. And you want to see if you can survive or win alone. And I think you can. If you put the right effort in the right place, of course you can. If you feel like it's time, 
to start something on your own and not work with someone else or for someone else. Go for it. Why not? Let's see your love life. Two of Cups, the Emperor, and the Four of Wands. I feel a similar energy, but in a different way. You are hiding here. You are trying not to show what you know. And here you are trying not to show what you feel. You love this person. And I feel this is this person is in love with you as well. We have the two of cups here. I think the problem is this person is not really good with emotions. They are not from that type. They're not that romantic, you know. And you're trying to match their personality by being in the four of pentacles, trying not to be yourself so this person will not feel uncomfortable around you or uncomfortable in this relationship. You are trying to be the emperor like them Because you don't want to be you, loving, caring. You like to be close to people. You like to love them. You like to show them emotions. And because this person has that emperor energy and they don't like to show emotions and they don't like that lovey-dovey feelings and the talks and you're trying to match that personality so that this person will not feel uncomfy around you and I don't think you're happy here you don't have to match their personality like you don't have to hide who you really are to please them this is not your job in here your job is to be you and then that person, if they will accept you as you, fine. If they don't, let them go. Because if you will keep pretending, pretending is not happy. Happy is to be me. If I will pretend that I am a different personality, not my personality, I will never be happy because I'm trying to make the other person happy. This is not your job. Your job is not to please the person in front of you. Your job is to be you and to find that match that will like you and love you as you. The only way to be happy is to be yourself. If this person will not accept you as you are, you will never be happy pretending that you're someone else. Let's see the outcome. Wow. It seems everything will go the way you want it to go. In health, in work, and in love. I can tell for this reading, Cancer, you are doing a great job in your life. Accept some small changes, some small adjustment you need to do so the life will be exactly the way you want it to be because it's your life. I'm not telling you make the world the way you want it to be because it's not possible. The only thing that you can make it your way is you. And I believe in this reading, you are trying to be you and to make yourself happy. And this is what you should do. Because when you are happy, you are spreading the energy of happiness like the sun. But if you will be tensed, uncomfy 
trying to hold back to please people, you will be tensed and you will spread the energy around you. Be happy. Everything around you will be happy, Cancer. Positive energy is contagious. Thank you so much for being with me, my friends. Wish you all the best. I hope this was a helpful reading in a way. I hope that you took a message from here that will be useful in your life. Deeply appreciate the love and the support that I'm getting from you. Have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.